happened, did it? He's like, I can't stay away, man. I can't stay away. And I just laughed and I was like, you know what? Happy to have you back, man. All right. Town and city start. This is a good stage for Samus, I would say. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Um, weird input errors from uh, Rambos, but he got some small conversions from it. It was a decent time to try and use there, but unfortunately he got clipped, and now he's on a fairly big deficit. Although Samus, damage-wise, is no slouch, so damage accumulation when it comes to Samus, um, she can bring it back. She can bring it right back. Wow, both are going very deep, and then Pop Tart went too deep to go for Samus, who you could essentially say it was a bait in a sense. Like, Pop Tart usually would know when to recover, but I think he just underestimated how low he went and just messed up, frankly. But um, obviously, he's far from out of it. But if Rambos wants to make the most of this, definitely wants to get Pop Tart to about 80 before maybe dying. But that is just not going to happen. Pop Tart is going to make up for his mistake and take the stock as soon as possible. And there have been a lot of grabs from uh, Rambos. The thing about Samus is, yes, she does need to grab, like with any other character who does have a bad grab, but whiffing it so frequently is very questionable, to say the least. That was a nice possible setup. That would have been good damage, but didn't get uh, what he planned. Can still take the first game. He's using charge shot intermittently. This is good. Okay, is he, he's not dead yet. Right, good. Pressure. Saving and conserving the shard shot. Not being hasty with it. And that's not it yet. Still using missiles. Okay, that was a good attempt. Alright, but now he doesn't have shard shot. So Pop-Tart is going to not feel anywhere near as scared to try and seal the deal now. And that is going to be F-Smash. That is going to be game one to Rambos. Right, so I'm happy for Ramboss in terms of uh, he did make the most of Pop-Tart unfortunately messing up. However, um, he did still need to compose himself for that stock to seal the deal, and he did do that. Pop-Tart's not going to be happy with himself, so we are probably going to see a very, very aggressive start. It, at least that's what I'm thinking. And Pop-Tart's going to be probably looking to make up for his error, so he's not going to be pleased with himself about it. And this is exactly what we're seeing. Alright, 79% already. Nice. Waiting. Rambos is really waiting for this charge for the charge shot. He's not just throwing it out at the wrong time or trying to be desperate with it. I do respect that, I do see that. Right, Rambos wasn't really sure what to attempt to do to try and land accordingly. So, um, gave Pop Tart a bit of a No, not again, Pop Tart, what's going on right now? Right, he, he well, I clearly know something's up with that, but that's twice in one set now. That's that's not what we're used to seeing. But yeah, sometimes it put happened. Whoa, he went for the. Sh he went for the. Sh I don't know what that actually is called, but he went for it. Uh, Pop Tart eventually punishes a mistake from Rambos. An over, over, no, over an extension. Thankfully, uh, we didn't just see something very tragic happen. Alright, enough. that's another grab that's been punished. Alright, one thing that Rambos can afford to be better with is using Jab 1 um, and starting to maybe condition the grab to the point where now you have to, like, the opponent has to start fearing it more because I like that he's willing to use it. That is important, yes. At the same time, um, he's been punished for it quite a bit. But in terms of what he's doing right now, this is this, and this is excellent. Like his positioning is good, very, very good. And is that it? And that is it. That is going to be two O oh, to Rambos. Fortunately, Pop Tart having um, quite a few misinputs, but 